everyone, my name is Mindy Yoakum, and as she said, I'm the founder of Yoakum Law. Uh, I, I want to start with a quick story about one of my first clients. Uh, Kate called me on a Saturday evening from a park close to her house. She was calling me because her and her boyfriend had gotten into an argument, and her boyfriend had pulled a gun on her. She didn't know what to do. I told her to call the police. She said she can't. There's a warrant out for her arrest. Several years earlier, she had gotten into some trouble, ended up pleading guilty to a felony, and never paid the $3,000 in restitution that she owed. She was afraid if she called the police that she would get arrested and she may lose her son. Kate's life was in danger and she had to worry about a $3,000 bill from five years ago. I convinced her to call the police. Her boyfriend was arrested and so was she, but I was able to get her out of jail pretty quickly and within a matter of days, we worked out a payment plan for her restitution. So why didn't Kate just do that in the first place? She was broke, she didn't know how to handle the problem, and she was scared. It's stories like, like Kate's that led me to law school. I didn't grow up wanting to be an attorney, but I became frustrated with the injustices of our justice system. People without access to legal help or knowledge of the legal system are at an incredible disadvantage. 35 hours, almost an entire work week. If you're making minimum wage in Ohio, it would take you 35 hours of work to pay for one hour of the average attorney fees. There are programs out there to help, and 1.8 million Ohioans actually qualify for pro bono legal assistance based on their income. But the, the primary providers of these programs, legal aid and public defenders, are overworked and understaffed. As a result, about 80% of people who live in poverty have legal needs that go unmet. Additionally, over 5 million Ohioans fall in the gap where they make too much to qualify for legal aid, but not enough to pay for the average attorney. That's 68% of people in Ohio who are at a disadvantage in our court system. What does that mean? For one, more people in prison. Currently, there are 50,500 people in Ohio prisons, costing taxpayers $1.1 billion dollars a year. Many of these people um, could have avoided prison by taking action earlier or could have benefited from diversion, rehabilitation, community control. But they didn't understand their rights, the charges, their plea deals, or the consequences of their decisions. And that's only criminal cases. Lack of representation in civil cases leads to more evictions, more closures, loss of custody for your children. The result, people with a lack of resources just keep getting pushed further into poverty. So how do we get legal resources to all these people who need a, a helping hand? Yoakum Law. <laughs> <laughs> I started the idea, um, or I started the firm with the idea of offering uh, alternative fee structures to low to middle income clients, um, which is great, but it, was only as effective as the people walking through my door. I knew I needed to make a bigger impact. So Yoakum Law has evolved into a legal benefits firm that serves individuals, businesses, and agencies, um, specifically with a focus on those who employ or assist people with barriers to employment, things like homelessness, prior convictions, victims of human trafficking, people who need a second chance. Uh, we do this by working to pro provide proactive education through legal workshops, brief legal advice clinics, one-on-one -on -one counseling. Our goal is to make sure or to make the legal system less intimidating and more accessible. We want to educate as many people as possible so small legal issues can be handled efficiently and effectively before they spiral out of control. We also want to help people with barriers to employment through expungements and CQE programs. So how do we do that? <laughs> To keep costs low, uh, we utilize contract attorneys. Over 13% of attorneys are unemployed, and many more are underemployed or not even working in the legal profession. We'll put these attorneys to work on a contract basis, giving them valuable legal experience and a passion for doing good. To realize a profit, we'll maintain a traditional caseload, build at market attorney fee rates to balance out the social impact cases we take at a reduced fee. We'll also develop partnerships with employee, employers and agencies. We'll charge them on an hourly basis for the um, legal advice, advice clinics, workshops, and counseling programs they offer to their clients and employees as a benefit. 
Our pilot program is currently underway with Hot Chicken Takeover. <laughs> Joe DeLoss understands that great employees come with all types of backgrounds. So we are collaborating to develop monthly brief legal advice clinics, workshops, programming, so his employees understand their rights, can sustain employment with him, and increase their economic mobility. Impact. Our goal uh, within the first year is to handle 40 social impact cases, growing to 200 in the third year of operation. Our legal benefits program has the power to reach many more people. Our goal is to uh, provide 1,000 hours of workshops, clinics, and counseling in the first three years. But with our sights set on working with the Reentry Coalition, local agencies such as the Neighborhood House, and the development of online legal resources, our, our hope is that this is a conservative estimate and we'll be able to reach many, many more people. To give you an example of the potential power of this business model, here you can see that as we partner with more employers and more agencies, and as we're able to add more contract attorneys to the team, our, our impact is astronomical. Um, with just 10 contract attorneys, we'll be able to handle 800 social impact cases a year. And we'll be able to reach 18,000 people with our legal clinics and workshops. As you can see here, with a balanced caseload and a concerted effort to keep costs low by utilizing contract attorneys, we'll realize a profit in the second year. And uh, we are respectfully requesting $75,000 to develop this innovative legal force. Uh, the funds will be used to develop the curriculum for the legal workshops and clinics, um, to develop alternative systems of delivery, most likely online, which I think will be helpful, marketing, of course, program development for the contract attorneys, and a much needed legal assistant. <laughs> I want to thank you again for spending your time with me today, and I can't wait to, until we can say justice for all.